Hi, I'm Dr. Kirsten Rowling. I'm the Chief Education Officer here at Dental CE Academy. And I'm excited to announce a course November 8th that will be presented by Dr. Thomas Palmier. Um, I consider Dr. Palmier the antibiotic steward. And the reason why I'm collaborating with Dr. Palmier has to do with my own story. I am a dentist, a public health dentist here actually in Phoenix, Arizona. And I developed a life-threatening Clostridium difficile infection about two years ago that followed a dental procedure and antibiotics that were prescribed just in case I developed an infection afterwards. And I later found out that I didn't need those antibiotics. And with my training, I thought I really had this all under wrap, but apparently I didn't. Um, and that infection almost killed me. So I'm now collaborating with Dr. Pamir to present courses that are relevant to all of you so that we can practice safely. So we know how to prescribe antibiotics for prophylaxis, for odontogenic and therapeutic uses, reduce the risk to our patients, uh, reduce the liability to our practices. So everyone, I'm really excited and honored to introduce to you Dr. Pamir. Thanks, Dr. Rowling. And um, uh, just a little bit about myself. I'm um, a 1987 graduate of Ohio State University College of Dentistry, and I had a microbiology as my undergraduate degree. I've always had um, an interest in microbiology and antibiotic use. Um, and, unfortunate, and I was fortunate enough to serve on the expert panels of the American Dental Association and the American Academy of Orthopedic Surgeons and co-authored the guidelines on appropriate antibiotic use for patients with prosthetic joints, as well as the ADA's clinical practice guideline on appropriate antibiotic use for endodontic infections. Um, I've done cardiac clearances for hospital uh, surgical programs for 20 years, so I've always kept up on the literature where there are not guidelines. Um, and unfortunately, Dr. Rowling's story is not unique. We know in the United States um, nearly 30,000 people die every year from C. diff antibiotic-associated infections, as well as another 35,000 patients who die every year from antibiotic-resistant superbug infections. That equates to nearly 175 people dying every day in the United States from an antibiotic-associated infection. Dentists prescribe nearly 10% of all prescriptions. So that means we're contributing to thousands of deaths per year. And we know that over 80% of prescriptions that dentists write are not concordant with the guidelines. Um, and most are written for prevention. So in an effort to prevent an infection, we actually may be harming our patients. So many of you may have said, I've taken courses in the past, many of them probably by pharmacists or pharmacologists. And while they may know the material, they can't understand it or help you use it in a daily basis in your clinical practice. I'm a practicing dentist every single day. I'm also, I'm in the hospital today. I teach in our residency program. And not only did I help write the guidelines, but I can help you understand how to use them appropriately in situations um, in your daily practice, such as you have a patient who has had a joint replaced and their orthopedic surgeon wants them to use the antibiotic prophylaxis. The patient prefers to use it. Um, they show up and they haven't taken it. What do you do for that patient? We can show you how to handle that. Um, how do you talk to the patient if their surgeon recommends it um, and you recommend against it? And how do you explain to them um, why they may be harming themselves by taking it? Um, I can also help you to say, why is it important to better question patients about a reported penicillin allergy and how might that potentially save their life? And it isn't what you think that you may prevent an anaphylactic reaction. Um, what do you say to pa a patient to convince them that they don't need antibiotics for an abscess tooth, but yet they tell you that their past dentists have prescribed them antibiotics and magically their infection got better and their pain went away within a couple of days. It wasn't the antibiotic. You need to know how to explain that to them. In this course on November 8th, I'll cover antibiotic prophylaxis for patients with prosthetic joints, cardiac and other medical conditions. We'll cover uh, antibiotic use related to extractions, minor oral surgery, implant placement, bone grafting, periodontal treatment, and endodontic infections. I'll discuss antibiotic stewardship and how to better understand and comply with the current guidelines and evidence-based recommendations. 
We'll provide sample prescriptions as well as information sheets for patients related to antibiotic prophylaxis and therapeutic antibiotic use. After this course, you can be con confident that you will be prescribing in a manner that is consistent with current guidelines and evidence-based recommendations. And you'll also know when it's appropriate to prescribe outside of those guidelines. You'll also be better able to communicate with patients on why an antibiotic is not helpful or necessary and why it may actually harm them. Antibiotics are not benign. They do a lot of good, but they also can cause a lot of harm. Whatever you were taught in dental school may not have been what is the current practice today. So I hope you're able to attend this course and I know you'll find it useful for your daily practice. Thank you, Dr. Palmier. And I want to emphasize to everyone again to register for the course, go to dentalceacademy.com, go to the navigation bar and tap on antibiotics uh, training. And this is timely information for all of you. We know the course that we provide on our platform now in Clostridium difficile. Many of you have already had patients that have developed C. difficile. Many of you have reached out to me about patients that have recurrent uh, infections and uh, worried about liability, et cetera. So thank you again, Dr. Palmier, for your willingness to join us on our platform. And for those of, the, those of you that cannot make it November 8th, we will be recording. It is available to our reserve for November 9th. Thank you so much. Thanks, Dr. Rowling. I appreciate the opportunity. Look forward to seeing everyone November 8th.